Hello and welcome. Welcome to my winter cleaning, winter motorbike cleaning video. Uh, I'm going to be using a lot of products and shoes. It's important. If you've got some Gore-Tex trainers or something, then you won't get your, your socks wet and uh, be miserable. Um, but I'm essentially going to be cleaning my bike. You'll need a, a dirty bike uh, to begin with. Um, I'm going to show you that in a second. Uh, but you'll also need some cleaning products. Now, some people will just get a bucket, fill it up with uh, fairy liquid and wash their bike, done. That's fine. I'm going to show you a different way if kind of money was no option really. You didn't want to get it professionally clean but you wanted to do it all yourself and you wanted to buy a load of products and things. Uh, everything from muck off. Uh, well, it's mainly muck off stuff really. Uh, I've got some auto glim things but they're really for, for a car. Uh, I've got some oil and some lube and fast glass and the cloths and, and things like that. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> what, what we'll do is we shall uh, show you the bike first. So you'll need a dirty bike. As you can see, this one is pretty, pretty bad. Yeah, definitely in need of a clean. So, you got your dirty bike. First thing what I'll do is I'll use muck off uh, degreaser on the sprocket area. Um, before I even wash the bike, I'll, I'll use this on and use a dedicated uh, brush to, to clean the sprocket. I'll now use a uh, chain cleaner, dry chain cleaner. Uh, I'll just spray it on the whole of the chain. <clears throat> it's important to use this in a well ventilated area because it's bloody stinks. <clears throat> Now what I do is I give the bike a good rinse in. You may want to use a hose or a pressure washer, whatever you want to do, but I just use a, a warm bucket of water, just wash all the areas um, and it's ready for the, for the uh, product. Now that you've got a wet, you're now to apply the product and agitate. I'm using this, it's quite handy, because all you do is you just spray everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Now what you want to do here is you really need to wait for this to uh, work, the cleaning product, for like three to five minutes. Um, get another bucket of water, so third bucket so far, rinsed it twice, two buckets. Third bucket of water uh, with your agitator or even the sponge and then you just gotta, you know, wipe all of the dirt and things off. <laughs> What I will also do is I'll also squirt a bit of this on the sponge and in the bucket. And you could use the uh, concentrate if you really wished, but there you go. And what I'll do now is I will wash the, the harder areas with the sponge. And as you can see, absolutely fine. 
and the tyres, you can wash the tyres as well. Um, it's up to you whether you want to use the sponge for this for this bit here, whether it'll scratch it, or you can use that, that mitt, but it's up to you. Um, I just use the mitt at the moment. So the mitt, as you can see, dump a bit of water on it, loves it, and then for your body work, that's what you want to be doing. Okay, excellent. Sorry for the shaky camera. What I'll now use is a bit of uh, Clean Wheels by Auto Glim, and I'll just spray that all over the wheel area. And I'll do one wheel at a time because you don't want this staying on the wheel for too long. Once the wheels are completely clean and I've used that tyre dressing uh, what I'll do now is I will use the chain cleaner. So this is the chain cleaner I'm going to use even though it's not on the stand I'm just going to roll it forward and spray. Now that the chain is relatively clean uh, I'm now going to clean the disc brakes. So while the, uh, the chain is kind of cleaning and and uh, drying and things I use this muck off disc brake cleaner and this funky little brush that goes in between them oh yeah obviously shake well using a well ventilated area and literally just apply quite generously all on the uh, disc brake it can go on other things it's fine it's, oh it smells bloody beautiful and gorgeous as well So there you go, and then just, uh, my disc brakes are fine. It's still not time to uh, lube up the chain or anything, so what I now do is just spray the whole bike with this bike spray. Uh, you can use the Aerosol version, as you can see the bike's still wet, that's what you want to do. And also it's great cleaner, if you've missed any bits. Okay, nearly finished. Now what I'll do is just go over the wheels again uh, with my cloth and my bike spray and uh, carry on. Once the wheels are clean uh, and the chain is really nice and kind of clean and dried out, what I then use is lubrication. So I'm going to lube it up. Uh, I put something behind the chain um, to stop any lube getting on the wheels. It's very important uh, because that can attract a lot of dirt and you, or it can blow what's ever on the chain onto the wheels and things. It's not what you want. Okay, this is what I use when I'm spraying the, the chain lube. I just put this behind the chain and then uh, spray so that it hits this, uh, this back used bit of card. Um, it's important because I made the the noob mistake of getting it on the wheels and the wheel rims um, and all all this area all your your like um, chain guard and things so uh, and that was pretty bad because grime got onto the the wheel rims and uh, dirt and things and then it was super hard to get it off uh, so yeah try not to make that mistake and just put the uh, bit of car behind it and then roll the bike forward and spray it as you go. That might be a little bit dangerous, so you're probably best off um, purchasing one of those um, a back wheel stand because that will, uh, if you've got a bike and you put a lot of money into your bike and you want to clean it often, it's it's money well spent. I don't think they're that expensive. I think they're about 40 or 50 pounds for a, a, a semi-decent one, uh, but it'll pay off in the long run because you'll clean your bike more often and it'll keep its value. So what I use for the uh, the front forks and the, the rear forks is this uh, Muckoff Silicon Shine. Uh, I spray it, use a, a cloth, buff it, and then and then wait a while and uh, spray it on, wipe on it, and then buff it later on, and that gives you a nice frictionless shine. And just to do the 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 rear shock as well. And finally, the last thing I use is uh, 
mock off speed polish. I'll spray the whole of the the bodywork and the the frame and everything. And you can use it on metal parts. Uh, allow it to haze. Uh, wipe it a bit, and then uh, once you've wiped all of it, use another part of the finishing cloth. This is an auto glim finishing cloth uh, to to buff it, and then your your bike should be protected and um, looking nice and shiny. The final thing I'll do is I'll spray my Perspex shield with the, this fast glass by Autoglim. Um, you can use the finishing cloth if you want uh, or a dry uh, cloth. They say use paper towel but um, it's, you can use the finishing cloth they say. Don't forget the mirrors either. Uh, wipe them around and then finish them off with the cloth. And there she is, she's all ready. Uh, all ready to be ridden again. Nice and clean and, and uh, polished. I'll do some Overall, I'm very happy with the way the bike has turned out. Uh, it is like new again. I can't wait to uh, have another ride. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it useful. Don't forget to uh, subscribe. Take care.